track money penny so hi and welcome to another segment of art beats my name is Lawrence Nerito and today basically we are going to show you how to edit photos using Lightroom most people prefer Photoshop but Lightroom has more key elements I will show you how to lighten up your photo make it more lively as compared to Photoshop where you can remove the background and all that now basically I just want to show you how to remove your color from a dark photo to a very light photo so join me and let's see so hi guys welcome to another episode of updates and today we're going to show you basically how to edit your photo such that it's not so poorly edited but yet again it's not so highly edited so you just want to narrow it down to the middle and the first thing we're going to do is come to file you can use this import videos photos and videos or you can come down here which i find easy because it's already highlighted for you down there so you just come uh, basically it will give you everything on your laptop so for me I'll go to desktop I will select uh, the folder where uh, the photo which I want to edit is in so tutorial check all that one photo then I will import it select that photo and then we'll go to develop and then come down back here and that's where your photo will go so basically what we want to do is we want to avoid using the presets like all these presets i've used them before so like for example if i select that you can see the preset and if you check you'll see the the photo before the way it looks and after but that's not what we want to do so we're going to come here and do preset so we're going to start this photo from scratch and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to play around the temperature so you see if i go down a bit it goes all blue uh when you go up it goes a bit more on so basically you want to narrow at the center somewhere around zero but for convenience sake let's just up to amp it a little bit up to seven tint you go down more it goes to more greenish but if you go up it goes to uh purple color. so yet again you don't want to play around with it too much so i'll go with uh last two so exposure you don't do to, to do your photo to be too exposed or no, you want to be too underexposed so we'll just amp it a little bit uh something like uh, -huh. uh no something like uh, yeah zero zero will do for us so contrast uh you want to amp it up a little bit around 10 now basically you don't want to do too much depending on the way you took your photo you want to do just a little bit of everything so highlights uh, I'd boost my highlights a bit like it again you can see what happens when you play around with it so we'll go to around five shadows uh, let's remove it a bit down so you can see that it brings out the bright the the bright black color or white you don't have to play with it a little a lot but you can amp it up a, a bit let's say 10 uh blacks so again let's go down for clarity sake like you can come and zoom in on her face you check if at all the photo is blurry or not clear you can amp it up a little bit but i don't want to do too much of it again for vibrance uh, we can add just a little bit of it saturation take it down a notch no add a bit of return to bring out more of the color now this tonal curve is very important as you'll see because when you put points there 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 and let's say there you want to take this up to bring a certain effect then you bring this down a bit basically we want to make like an s curve i won't be able to do it so good right now because mm, Time, but yes, we can see uh, something just minor, really small. But uh, at the end of the day, you'll see the difference. The colors are very important. Like for example, this green color. When you boost it up, you can see the change of how the color changed. And then we can look at her shoes because those are the two most visible colors. Let's go to red. You see what happens when you push it all up. It goes to something yellowish or it can go to purplish. So you don't want to mess with it a lot. So you just go to do a little bit of more red. Uh -huh. Saturation yet again you can say green more and a bit more red. And then you drop all the way down. 
you will enable chromatic uh, profile corrections and remove chromatic abbreviation so that your photo will look more a bit more lively so when you compare the two photos this one and this one you can see that this photo is a bit too dull but this one has a bit more life in it so after that you basically just come here then export export your photo choose where you want the photo to go in the subfolder so for me it will go to user carry desktop then tutorial that's where i want my photo to go make sure uh, you have known the name of your image and make sure it's also in GP, uh, jpg when you export the photo it will come here and title export and voila there goes your photo so yet again you can see the difference uh, in the lightroom before the photo was a bit dull not more life but in this other one you can see that you've really brought out the, the natural colors and the photo looks good so thank you yet again you can see as the photo it's not too much uh, work done and it's not yet too little so that you can have a well a uh, very nice nice photo to post on your instagram or on your facebook page so yeah thank you and have a good day trap, trap money, penny.